hundreds and thousands of people practice Mai Tai each day. And in the coming two weeks, we are one of them. Mai Tai means Thai fighting and it's the most brutal form of martial arts in the world. Punched. I don't know if I should be scared of it. I am scared. I'm not a fighter. <laughs> so let's begin. We are ready for school. Going to the gym, which is literally across the road. And the gym is called uh, Ponchit. We are not sure if we have to start today with a run. So some days they start with a 3 to 5k run. And I, I don't hope today because it's already burning the sun. And if you start with this a run in this weather, oh, I think you will be all soaked. Nobody told me about the run part. And now we are approaching the gym. And now there's this advanced class going on, which looks quite intense. <laughs> the biggest thing why I'm so nervous is because I am not aggressive at all and I always think that boxing and, and karate or whatever is a bit of uh, it's not my thing but I want to have this challenge you know so that's I maybe some some anger comes in me and I can fight but we'll see yeah. so we are now straight into running we had no clue what was going on for the first five minutes but all the advanced people who finish and then the beginner people they start running and it is, I think, already 27, 28 degrees of sunish. Crazy harsh. The run was just for two Ks, but as you can see, it's already to be soaked. It is burning in the sun. And now I think you have to go straight into rope uh, jumping. So if you think rope, rope skipping is easy, try doing it for five minutes with a heavy rope. It's fun. After five minutes of heavy rope skipping, we jump straight into push-ups and stretching. Believe us, by this time you'll be sweating. So now we're gonna do some shadow boxing. Already I feel so powerful like a professional fighter. You just say like you put this on and you feel already like a fighter. Now yep, okay, and lift, yep, and right part, lift, yep, right part. And as we are complete beginners in Muay Thai, with no experience in any form of combat sports, we are first taught the basics of punching and kicking. Uppercut, punch, hook, kick, all new terms that would be following us for two weeks long. It's not easy. <laughs> It's so funny, like when we were dancing, I was the one who always had to relax, and now you're the one who has to relax. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. It's, it's difficult. Oh, like the coordination. Yeah, but I think we learn with time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's so difficult. It's also difficult than running. I have a feeling Adi is a bit of a nature talent. So we're gonna, so we're gonna spar to each other and hopefully Mira doesn't kill me. Later on, we were switched with other people for the sparring rounds. Oh, that was lesson one, day one. Yeah. One to go. I cannot imagine that in a few hours we do the same again. All over again. All over. Like for me, it's really difficult. Like right or left, I always have to think. And he's like right, left, right, left. And my head just becomes a mess, and that's uh -huh. like the most challenging for me, I think. Yeah. It's almost six o'clock in the evening, and we are back at the gym. All the uh, advanced classes going on, and people are just getting smashed. And we're gonna be running soon, twice a day. I've never done this before. Running twice a day. Samira, ready for it? Yeah, look what I got. <laughs> what a new It turned out that in the evening we run indoors just for five minutes. It is six o'clock in the morning and we are having oats. Training started at 8.30, that's why we are having oats early in the morning. 
and we are still in this time where we are kind of figuring out like how to plan our meals. So how was it training yesterday evening? Oof, yeah, I did it. I finished the training, but it was kind of a really big struggle because uh, normally I always train in the morning on an empty stomach and that has a reason because my stomach really reacts on training. And now, yeah, we had to eat. And then in the evening, oh, my stomach just went so bad. And what time we had dinner? Yeah, we had dinner like two hours before still. Two, one and a half hours. One and a half. Yeah. So yeah, it will be a surge the coming days. Like what will work because I do have to eat something. Uh, but um, yeah. little portions maybe throughout the day. I don't know. Day two of my Thai training. And we already start to feel like a fighter. I already get some uh, muscles here, I feel. I have a lot of muscle pain, but it doesn't matter. And let's see how it goes. The advanced group is now and they're just everything is like a swimming pool of sweat yeah it is oh i get a little bit of goosebumps of it and yesterday we had to run in the gym and we had to run over the on sweat. the sweat oh. <laughs> it's just a warm-up i'm already done in each class, the trainers would teach us new Muay Thai techniques, and after, we practiced them with the others. However, throughout the class, it's not just Muay Thai. We are also doing a lot of bodyweight exercises like push-ups and sit-ups, and circuit training. Every day is different and it never gets boring. So we also have this really nice beautiful area outside the gym, so where you can do your own training if you want to sweat more after the classes. So Ali, what just happened? Uh, mm -hmm. I got kicked by someone. Oh, you don't see it? Punched. You all blood everywhere, everyone's super worried. No, no, no. And the fun thing is, he bought this uh, mouth uh, guard tonight. Yeah. But we didn't put it yet tonight because she has to make warm it up. So how bad karma I was if it went wrong tonight. Oh my God, yeah. No, but it's uh, just a little cut, I think. Someone uh, recommended us to use the mouth guard because I was lucky enough that I didn't break my teeth. So this could be essential, but the thing with this is I thought that you just go and uh, put it like this. But then you have to dip it in water so it becomes soft and then you sort of then you sort of put it in your mouth and chew it. So it kind of takes the shape of your teeth, I suppose. So now it's uh, dipped in hot water. Uh, go, go. It kind of takes the shape of my teeth. Yeah. Yeah, it's everything hurts. So day three, it is crazy warm. We are sore. But yeah, there's a setting out of energy as soon as you go in the gym. The adrenaline rushes and you just you just wanna keep going. And Mira is drinking some water. Is that my water? I don't have that adrenaline and that yet. I'll think I need that. Adrenaline. The training is fun and addictive. But doing this high-intensity workout twice a day can be hectic on your body. As a consequence, we started to feel exhausted by the end of the first week. So how do you feel, Mira? I'm feeling good. I'm really excited for today. I have the feeling we're becoming a little bit better. But I also have to say we're getting the first uh, like little injuries. Like Adi ripped his toe. <laughs> to toe. His toe. toe. <laughs> Just the toe. skin of my toes came out because but it's, it's, yeah. it's not just like you have to stand on it all the time and yeah. switch. So like it can be like these little <clears throat> things can become a big problem. I hurt my feet uh, and you have to kick all the time. Yeah. You know? So I think I will just see how it goes. So we just did the push up and the run. And it's crazy warm today. You see what, what I think? invented? I thought I used my petje as an... As a fan, a Japanese fan. It's so fan. nice. Like the, the problem for me is that you, there's just no way to cool down. Like you're staying this heat and your body just yeah. getting this panic. Oh, you know? we have to start. Signing yourself up for a brutal Muay Thai training course in Thailand is a great and challenging experience. You push yourself in each class and you discover your body is capable of way more than you might think. And you would also learn some cool new skills at the same time. 
Yep, it's for sure an adventure you'll remember for the rest of your life.